Hi, I'm Kevin Ellerton, the founder of Meditation Magazine, and I want to give you a little tour of what our magazine is all about. Our magazine started in 2018 with our pilot issue. This issue was distributed in um, New York City, and we handed it out for free. We did like an, a back cover for a charity, uh, to, for a coat drive, and we did an interview with a sound healer on the rooftop of a building. Uh, we handed it out for free all over Manhattan, especially in Greenwich Village. It was like our first attempt at a magazine, and it was kind of rough and flimsy, but it did get us noticed by Whole Foods and Barnes and & Noble, and it was just kind of a fun magazine that people wanted to read. So we ended up um, getting picked up by Whole Foods and Barnes and & Noble, and our next issue was featuring Trevor Hall and Wim Hof on the cover. That was a dual cover split issue. I'll just give you a little peek inside. This is uh, Wim Hof, is one of my favorite uh, spiritual leaders of this generation. And we, you can see it got a lot more polished and refined. We still made some mistakes like, uh, you know, putting some things in the center line and stuff like that, but we got really we got really, really into doing the design of the magazine, making it really beautiful, uh, making it really life-changing in terms of the content inside, um, doing interviews with some really famous people like Wim Hof and others. And uh, it, was, it was a great issue. This was Eric Adams. He's actually running for mayor of New York City right now. At the time, he was the borough president of Brooklyn. Anyway, uh, you get the general idea. Oh, yeah, this was a feature on... Um, and the Big Quiet, which is like uh, in New York City, which we had really gotten to know. They, they do these cool events, giant meditation events, or they did before the pandemic in these iconic places like the top of the World Trade Center and under, like in, in this, the uh, Oculus and Manhattan and uh, Madison Square Garden and stuff like that. And we interviewed the founder, Jesse Israel. And we had like a really cool article about uh, my wife and I um, landing in southern India and then traveling by buses and trains up to Everest in Nepal and that was a really epic journey that uh, you can kind of follow along in the magazine and we have QR codes that go to videos with interviews from people that we interviewed along the way uh, like Shubhamrita at, at Amaz Ashram and anyway you get the general idea that it was a really freaking amazing issue and this one was our first national issue and then, uh, then after this one, uh, it was the pandemic and we didn't know if we were going to do another issue um, because uh, the pandemic was affecting magazine sales and we decided to go ahead with it anyway, uh, even though we were worried that it might mess us up if financially. We decided to publish this one. This was the Yoga Girl, uh, we called it the Apocalypse Issue. There it is. The apocalypse issue uh, that was in uh, 2020 and uh, we did really uh, this one got even better I think well we still made some mistakes like putting me in the center there um, but we were getting even better in terms of our design you can see like we had just more experienced designers and more uh, creative people uh, actually this one was from a designer in Sweden that we worked with and it was just a really great issue. We we really we also focused on uh, Ram Das that he had recently passed away, and we interviewed his uh, Raghu Marcus, who was one of his old friends, and um, we interviewed his caretaker and uh, his caretaker. Um, this guy over here was his caretaker for the last years of his life. He wrote a beautiful article called "I Am Loving Awareness." And uh, yeah, it was just, this is Rachel Braden's uh, piece, uh, Brayton, Rachel Brayton, sorry about that, I always mispronounce her name, she's amazing, yoga girl, and um, anyway, there was, uh, it was sort of like focused on some, some coronavirus stuff, and also focused on, you know, just being happy in difficult situations, and uh, yeah, it was a really cool issue. Uh, I won't get some mindful parenting in a pandemic, things like that. Then, uh, after that issue went actually international, it was distributed in the U.S. and in Canada too. It was in uh, Chapters Indigo in Canada, which is a big bookstore, book chart, bookstore chain there. 
Then our next issue went global. That was, uh, we did another dual cover, Sadhguru and Deepak Chopra. Um, we called it the Guru issue. And uh, it was, that's kind of a tongue in cheek title, obviously. Um, but basically, and we had Graham Hancock in there too, and Sahara Rose. And this one we got even more like designy uh, and really uh, like this is a beautiful um, infographic for how to meditate, learn to meditate in 15 minutes or less. And that infographic, it just takes you through the process of meditation. And it's it, that was a really cool one. What is a guru? was a really great article that was about, um, you know, it was kind of like a fun, funny article. You can't be a guru if you don't have a beard, as an example. Um, and, you know, it kind of went through the sort of misconceptions about gurus. Uh, fact, all true gurus can fly through the sky. You know, obviously these are, it's, it's kind of a fun, funny article. Let's see this one. Uh, gurus are objectively better than everyone else, and you must bow to them. And, uh, you know, we even have some quotes from Monty Python in here. Life with Brian. <laughs> and uh, it's, it's a pretty deep article. Uh, and then we had, like, you know, Sahara Rose contributed, like, a Seven Chakra Soups article, which was beautiful. Um, Ayurvedic plant-based soups that, with the recipes that you can make and we interviewed Deepak Chopra which was interesting and really dug into his his story and um, we interviewed Kabaka Pyramid who's like a reggae artist from Jamaica like a meditation spiritual reggae artist and Anna Netanel who's a, like a famous sound healer in California and Sadhguru, one of my favorites, this was just an epic uh, article about his journey, 10,000, almost 10,000 mile motorcycle ride around the United States uh, during the pandemic, which was super epic. And he has these amazing photos from that journey. We got into a little um, debate about psychedelics. He doesn't, uh, doesn't endorse psychedelics, uh, some other spiritual teachers do endorse psychedelics. Anyway, you get the general idea. I'm not going to uh, show you everything, but you get the general feel for it, I think. I probably shouldn't show you the covers for the next issue yet because they're not finalized, but it's going to be called Powerful Women in Meditation. We've got some really interesting interviewees and beautiful articles in there, and that one's going to be really amazing. It's coming out in September, and basically our publication schedule is we publish um, so, so the 2018 we published our first one, 2019 we published one, 2020 we published one, uh, 2021 we're doing two. Uh, so we did the spring equi vernal equinox and the autumnal equinox. Uh, so the beginning of spring and the beginning of autumn. Next year in 2022 we're going to be doing four issues. Very scary on our part, but we're going to do it and it's going to be awesome. We're growing, our subscriber base is growing, we're able now, because of our growing subscriber base, to print four issues per year. So that's what we're going to do starting in 2022 on the equinoxes and the solstices. So that's a basic overview of our magazine. It's not uh, affiliated with any dogma of any kind. It's really a secular and open-minded magazine that is based in science, but also loves to delve into spiritual stuff. Uh, not religious stuff necessarily, but spiritual stuff, meaning enjoying the experience of being one with the universe, uh, the experiences of ecstasy and bliss, um, presence, things like that. While mm, other magazines tend to focus more on the uh, only the scientific aspects and the clinical aspects, we focus also on the spiritual aspects as well. The whole lifestyle of meditation and the sort of spirituality that comes along with meditation. So I hope that this video has been enlightening to you, and I hope that you enjoy our magazine. Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day.